Hey everybody, as you enter the ship on deck seven, you're going to see that you enter the atrium here. Just like on the Pearl, you see the six man information desk in the back, along with the NCL group for information. And then as I circle on around, you can see they have a baby grand piano there on the far wall where you can book your excursions. And then as you, I circle around, the main difference you're going to see is right below where it used to be where you could have the bands playing. It's no longer a stage up there, but rather a screen, and the bar is directly below that. Looking, Looking up, up from the atrium, you see Deck 8, where the Cafe O'Shea Hines is located. You know, the food there is free, and it also has an open bar. And this is a great place to be able to catch the late night shows. You can look down into the atrium, and you can see the seating there, and then looking down into the atrium below. As you leave the atrium on deck seven and walk toward the front of the ship, you're going to be able to pass the Jasmine Garden there. You know, I think we're all familiar with that. It has the Asian and Chinese and Japanese food, and then that little fancy restaurant where they chop all the food up in front of you with your friends. And looking down below, it's what we Kiss Cruisers know as Bar City down below. And you can see there's um, Le Bristo, the French restaurant there, but then there's part of the stage setup. And of course, right outside of La Bristo and the Bar City stage, we can have, and you can move on into, yep, on into the casino. Hey all, I am now down in the casino of the Jade, and it appears to be like maybe twice, two, three times larger than the casino on the Pearl. But what I really love in the change in this one, or not the change, but the difference in this casino is the way that it's laid out. It's not so crowded. You can really navigate between the machines and the tables if you want to. But the really, really neat thing I'm gonna show you here is that the bar is no longer along the side of the wall as on the Pearl. But in the Jade, it's this huge circular bar that's accessible all the way around. So here we go, I'm gonna show you the bar. Look at that. All right. Let's go back up on deck seven, you know, coming from the atrium, walking toward the front of the ship. And on your left is going to be the Bliss Lounge. You have to walk through glass doors there because they have to um, kind of muffle the sound going out to the atrium or to the front of the theater. This, the Bliss Lounge is still accommodated with a dance floor. You can see the sound system to be able to set up there and a lot of curvy, soft white couches there. Now I'm standing up near the front of the stage on the dance floor, and I'm circling around. And so you can see the seating to just how much room is there for standing room only and dancing. And as we come around, you're gonna be able to see the bar that's accessible to everybody there in the Bliss Lounge. If you leave the atrium and head toward the back of the ship, the um, gallery, the photo gallery is still there. And I'm going to give you a little explanation of how this works because it's really different. Hi, everybody. I am in the photo gallery here on the Jade. And it is completely different from what it was on the Pearl. And it's much more streamlined. So I'm going to show you what it's about is that when your photos are taken, they're no longer publicly displayed as they were on the Pearl. What they do is they go into binders. So strangers can't see. But anyway, you will find your coordinating binder for your room here, just like this, where it says photo gallery 3103. That's my photo binder, and watch here. I see. Oh, 
over on the top shelf for the book case for number three, which coordinates with mine. If I go there, that's where I'm gonna find my photos. But we all know that they close up the photos, so nobody wants to be kind of tempted to take their photos or take photos of their photo. And so during the nighttime, they close up the paper um, photos that you have in your binders. But the photos are fully accessible 24 hours a day because now you can come into the you can come into the gallery and you can see here all uh, looks like they maybe have about 20 different screens here. And so what you can do again, you take your card. You swipe your card. So once you scan your card, you can look at your you can look at your photos online electronically. You can make them larger, smaller, however you like, and then you can put in your individual order for if you want to buy some photos for Mama or Papa, you know, down the road. And then you can put your order in and they'll be ready the next day. You won't have to stand in line asking to put in for an order. I think this is an amazing system here when you're talking 2,300 passengers and they all want photos. Excellent system. And this, the information is on your card. Okay, behind me is what you call the gift shops and the jewelry shops and everything. And on the Pearl, that is where the Bliss Lounge is. Like if you were to go in this back door, that's where the bowling alley would be. But this entire back part or front part, back here where the Bliss Lounge typically is, that is where all your shopping area is. And the Bliss Lounge is on the opposite side of the seventh deck, right near the main theater. So as you pass on the way to the main theater, the Bliss Lounge is gonna be on your left. Hi. This whole area is pretty much just for jewelry and liquor. I mean, if you need toiletries, you best better bring it yourself. Just for instance, I went for some chapstick and they said they only usually keep three or four and they were sold out of that. So be sure to bring all your toiletries as you need them. All right, we've came, come through the shops here at the back of the ship, and I'm coming out on the other side that's facing toward the front of the ship. And as you leave the gift shop and jewelry shops, you will go into what you see as the internet cafe. I'm not sure if this is how it's gonna be set up on the Kiss Cruise, but if you want a little bit of prophecy while you're getting your net, um, some tattoos, you best rethink it. Because you can see here, look at that. That girl is laid out right in the middle of the art gallery across from the internet cafe getting her new tattoos. So you might want to give some serious thought like to if you want to get your tattoos there or not. With the art gallery has been turned into a makeshift tattoo parlor for the cruise. Okay, Kiss Cruise friends, that's all I've got for you in regards to my opinion and the difference between the Jade and the Pearl. You know, the, the outdoor stages, the indoor stages, all of those things are the same. The layout's the same. The only difference is that Bliss Lounge and the location of the shops in the rear of the ship. Easy to navigate. No worries there. You guys be safe, and I'll see you in November. See ya.